Hi, it's Gail from Nature's Earth Cosmetics and Gail's Gifts here at the, I'm here at my store and today I'm demonstrating a um, makeover because on the 23rd we're having free makeovers here. So I thought I'd show you a little bit about what that entails. We're going to be color matching Angela here today and I'm going to start with just matching her color. So, she's a very golden shade, so I'm using suntan on her. And yes, that's matching her skin tone perfectly. So the first thing we're gonna do is use the flat top brush. This is the foundation brush, and the thing I like about flat top brushes is they hold the powder in the brush. And when you're using all powder products, it's a little bit different than when you're using liquid, so I'm going to show you how to distribute the um, powder on the brush and how to apply it. So the first thing you're going to do is you dip into the um, makeup and you go halfway on the brush and when you do your tap off it will slide across the brush and collect in the brush. So you're going to do um, strokes backwards towards the ears always up and back. My product is a uh, has a lot of coverage, so it's a little bit heavier than some of the mineral makeups out there on the market. Angela has a little um, a little birthmark up here, and you will be able to see that just the foundation without a concealer will cover that up. So ladies, when you're doing your makeup, one of the things I like to tell ladies is it doesn't take a long time. It literally takes me six minutes to do my entire makeup each day. And that's including eye makeup and everything. Very light on the skin. It allows your skin to breathe. So you can see how nice and smooth her face looks with the foundation. Very natural. The next thing we're going to do is the blush and blush brushes oftentimes are giant and they leave big giant circles on your face. So this brush is my brush. It's very structured but small so it targets the area that you want to target. It distributes it right where you want it to go. Again because the products are so highly pigmented you only need a little bit of the product on the brush and blush you want to use just a little bit about a quarter on the brush. Because she has a very warm complexion, I'm using burnt peach on her. With just a little hint of cinnamon, as her skin tone is um, rather dark and glowy and beautiful. So I'll put a little bit of that over the top just to give her a little bit more color. And then the last step is the veil. The veil, you would use a very flexible brush for the veil because it's you're putting it over the entire face with one application in your makeup. You don't, you don't want this procedure to be light and airy. You don't want to use a lot of makeup you, or a lot of veil on there. You want to use just a little bit. What so, does the veil do? The veil is a setting agent for your makeup, so your makeup stays on all day long. It has a little kaolin clay in it, so when you're going in and out of air conditioner and back and forth between heat and air conditioner, it helps to neutralize that. And each product has an SVF of about 15 in it, so when you wear all three, you are getting about 45% SVF. So um, when you put the veil on, you're just, again, you're doing a very light dusting with that. And uh, it sets the makeup for the day and gives it that finished look. So you can see now the difference between this side and this side. You see the coverage of it. Also remember, keep in mind that when you're putting a 
powders on your face that it looks better after you wear it for about 15 or 20 minutes. It starts to work with the chemistry of your skin and starts to soften. So that is our little demonstration today on what a makeover looks like and how I do the color matching. So please come out and visit me on the 23rd between 4 and 8 o'clock. Thank you very much.